Hello, and welcome back to Key Retirement Solutions. Today, we're going to dive deep into a critical component of Medicare Part A. Medicare Part A, often referred to as hospital insurance, is a foundational part of the Medicare program, but what exactly does it cover? Part A primarily covers inpatient care in a hospital. Think of Part A as room and board, or the building and the bed. Everything else that happens is not under Part A. It includes critical access hospitals and inpatient rehab facilities. Medicare Part A also covers skilled nursing facility care up to 100 days. There are some requirements, however, that you have to meet. You have to have been in the hospital for three full days and three full nights, and they don't count your discharge day. The doctor has to certify that you need skilled care, in other words, around-the-clock care, because with Medicare, there's basically three kinds of care. You have skilled, which is the highest level care. You're not stabilized yet, so they really need to keep an eye on you. You have to be in a place where that kind of care is provided. Then you have intermediate. That's when you're making a little bit of progress and you're not quite there yet. Custodial care is when you've made all the progress you're going to make, but you still need help with your activities of daily living. Medicare will only cover up to 100 days of skilled nursing care. After that, or if you need intermediate or custodial, then that is not covered by Medicare. Now, Part A also extends into hospice care, which is for people who are terminally ill, meaning they have about six months or less to live. The focus there is on palliative care, you know, relieving their pain and managing symptoms. Now, Part A, you may see that it covers some home health care services, such as intermittent skilled nursing care or physical therapy, speech, language pathology services, and, and occupational services. Again, those need to be ordered by your doctor and provided by a Medicare certified home health agency. There are some requirements to getting Part A to pay for this kind of care. If we look here, you'll see that there are days. This gets down in the weeds a little bit here. And keep in mind, Medicare system was made back in the mid-60s, and you used to go to the hospital not only to recuperate, but that's where they would keep you to get stable because we didn't have assisted living in nursing homes as many as we do today. So if you look here, you'll see under Part A, hospital services, for the first 60 days, Medicare is going to pay everything except $1,600. So that means you would have to pay that 1600 If you're still in the hospital for the next group of days, days 61 through 90, Medicare says, hey, we need you to chip in. You're starting to cost us some money. So they're going to pay everything except $400 per day that you would have to pay. Day 91 and after the next 60 days, they're called your reserve days because you only get to use them once in your lifetime. Once you use them up, they're gone forever. And here, Medicare says, we're going to double your daily copayment to 800 a day. These numbers go up every single year. Right now, it's 2023. These are the current numbers. After the reserve days, Medicare pays zero. Beyond that group of days, you're going to pay all costs yourself. And that's why people look into Medigap plans or Medicare Advantage plans to help out with some of these costs. And here's the skilled nursing. For the first 20 days, Medicare will pay all of the approved amounts, which is great. You pay zero. These 21 through 100, just like up here in the hospital, Medicare says, hey, we need you to pay $200 a day. But as soon as you come out of skilled nursing or after day 100, Medicare will pay zero, and that means all costs are on you. That's a quick rundown of what Medicare Part A covers. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share with those who might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth Medicare content. And remember, when you pay your premiums, 
for your policies that you get through Key Retirement Solutions. You can accumulate tuition rewards to help fund your loved one's college education. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.